my favorite camping spot is still closed and I'm not even mad. Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX and I'm out here at the East Cut. Most importantly, I'm at that area that was blocked off. It's already been, I don't know how long, but it's been quite a while now since it's been blocked off and it's been successfully blocked off to vehicles driving past this point. Um, I gotta tell you that at first I had some mixed feelings and a lot of folks were quite upset because we couldn't drive back back there and that was pretty much our favorite spot. We loved accessing the channel from that area, camping out over there. I have some wonderful memories, wonderful adventures um, that we've gathered uh, from this area past this point. Uh, I talked to uh, US Fish and Wildlife folk and uh, they told me they had blocked it off because they were trying to uh, restore the wildlife uh, nesting grounds for birds and and of course the dunes protection and all this other stuff you know that they wanted to take care of past this point and today I decided to fly the drone to see you know what were the changes and and what have have there been any changes you know to this area positive changes a friend of mine um, he, sh he sent me a picture yesterday and uh, he flew his drone and he told me, hey man, you know, that area where you used to camp out, you know, I, I don't even think it's accessible anymore uh, from some picture that he, that he gathered. So I decided to come out here and see for myself and take a look to see just what kind of changes have been made over there. And uh, this is what I found out. Let's go ahead and fly west along the jetties. It is important to note that even though you can't drive back there, you can certainly access the area on foot or on a boat. After severe storms in the summer of 2020, this whole area flooded and it has continued to worsen. Many adventurers would use this beach to camp and fish. Now you can only see animal and human footprints. I didn't notice it until after I brought the footage home, but I did see what appears to be vehicle tracks in this one area. Do you think they may belong to a vehicle? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell just, you know, because I wasn't able to zoom in. The shoreline has shrunk for sure. Yes, it was high tide at this time, so it would be interesting to see how it looks at low tide. Right here you can still see the old established off-road trails, but they certainly looked overgrown to me. Now let's climb a higher elevation and follow the old trails back towards the east. You can appreciate the growth in vegetation from these images. You can also see how much water has accumulated. One year later and these back roads are still very much defined. Looks like time hasn't done much to them. Here we are circling back south towards the channel. The vegetation along the main entrance appears to be growing too. Let's take another look just past the barricades.
you can see the grass closing the gap between the dunes and the jetties. Yeah, guys, so, hey, you know, it is what it is. I am very happy that, you know, it seems like some of the vegetation is growing back and, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like it's been trampled. I think that these barriers have been quite effective, effective enough to prevent vehicles from going to the back. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I wish it was different. I wish there was access along the edge of the channel you know kind of like the way we have on the edge of the waterway the shoreline to me it, it would it would make sense you know to have access as a continuation of the shoreline for our vehicles so that we could camp out fish do whatever we wanted to do in a in a, in a legal safe fashion uh but yeah that that's you know at least there's for those of you who shared the same sentiments i did i hope that this makes you feel a little bit better um i don't know what are your thoughts what do you guys think i mean please uh feel free to drop a comment down below and discuss you know tell me what you think i mean <laughs> do you think uh are you happy do you share that with me or are you still kind of uh you know hurt that that we lost this area over here but anyway thank you so much get up get out do something mm -hmm.